Musa says there are some specific adhkar that if you recite 100 times in a day, you get some type of reward. Do you have to say these adhkar in one sitting or can you split them up throughout the day as long as they reach 100? First of all, adhkar is the plural of dhikr. And dhikr is whatever you say to remember Allah Azza wa Jal. For example, if I recite the Quran, this is dhikr. If I say after prayers, Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar, 33 times, this is dhikr. So whatever we mention the name of Allah Azza wa Jal, and whatever we say of the invocations that we were taught, this is called dhikr. Now we know that there are two types of dhikr, general and specific, prescribed dhikr. The general dhikr is when I say astaghfirullah, I seek Allah's forgiveness, and I say it throughout the whole day. I may say it 10 times, 100 times, 1,000 times, more or less. There's no specific number for it. This is general. So we don't have a problem with this, and Brother Musa is not asking about this. Brother Musa is asking about the prescribed dhikr, where the Prophet told us, alayhi salatu salam, to say a specific dhikr a fixed number of times. So as mentioned earlier, saying Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar 33 times after every prayer, fard prayer that is, and then concluding La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lah, lahu al-mulku wa lahu alhamduhu ala kulli shayin qadir, to complete 100. This is well known, people know this. And there are a bit larger in number dhikr. So for example, the Prophet said والسلام, whoever says Subhanallah wa bihamdih 100 times, Allah Azza wa Jal will, will forgive his sins even if it is as the foam of the sea or the ocean. So no matter how many sins you have, Allah will forgive them. If you say Subhanallah wa bihamdi a hundred times. Also part of the adhkar of the morning and of the evening is to say La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lah, lahul mulku wa lahul hamd, wa huwa ala kulli shayin qadir, one hundred times. And this is quite the longest type of adhkar. And it takes some time, maybe like, three to five minutes, if you say them with contemplation. Now, saying them a hundred times may be a bit heavy for some. And this is why Brother Musa is asking, do I have to say it immediately after Fajr prayer? Because this takes a long time. The most authentic opinion is, that whenever the Prophet tells us alayhi salatu wasalam, whoever says this, whoever reads this, whoever recites this during a day, then you can recite it and split it into installments if you wish. So yes, I can say la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lah, lahu al-mulku wa lahu alhamdu ala kulli shayin qadir 10 times or 15 times after Fajr prayer. And 10 minutes later, I continue to say 25 times. And half an hour later, I complete the 60 times, for example. There's no problem in that. Likewise, when the Prophet tells us, alayhi salatu wasalam, to recite Surat Al-Kahf every Friday. So if someone recites two pages of it after Fajr, another two pages at 10 o'clock a.m., and maybe one page before Friday prayer, and the rest after Asr, this does the job because 
this person has read Surah Al-Kahf on a Friday. Nowhere did the Prophet say, alayhi salam, that you have to recite it all in one go. However, it is much better and safer so that you would not forget or neglect if you split it up into parts. It's much better to do it at one go. Now, having said that, remember, Brother Musa, that these athkar they protect us with the grace of Allah Azza wa Jal. So the adhkar we say after Fajr and in the evening, which I'm inclined to say that it's after Maghrib, well, some scholars say that it's after Asr, both ways uh, um, are okay, inshallah. The adhkar you say after fard prayers, the adhkar you say before going to bed, the adhkar you say before leaving your house or entering the bathroom or eating and drinking. These adhkar protect us from the evil eye, from envy, from black magic, from jinn with the grace of Allah Azza wa Jal. Especially if you say them with contemplation, with dependence and reliance on Allah the Almighty. Those who don't say them, they are vulnerable to such attacks. And this is why if you delay saying it all after Fajr, and you may say it at 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock in the morning, between Fajr and completing them, you're not fully protected, which is not very uh, a good thing to be in.